for Pride Month, we have a very special edition of our Changing the Game series. Today, we are highlighting a company called Bowtie Behavior. <laughs> Founded in 2014, the company aims to make bow ties fashionable and affordable and accessible for people of all genders. In addition to their website, their handmade bow ties are on store shelves for the first time this month in TJ Maxx and Marshall stores Yay. in the New York City That's area. A big deal. That is huge. Yeah. Bowtie Behavior founder Robin Williams joins us now. Yes. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for, Thank being, you here. for being here. Anybody These ever told you amazing. you have a famous name? Yes, all the time. Since <laughs> the first grade, actually. <laughs> there you go. But Robin, you have a degree in journalism and you have a master's in sports management. Yes. Um, so, how did you get into making these beautiful bow ties? So in 2014, uh, my best friend was getting married. And Enola, who's here. Yes, yes. she's here. Uh -huh. And so um, the theme for her engagement party was a bow tie affair. Um, and I'd never, never worn a bow tie before. I had never wanted to wear a bow tie before. And so I went shopping for one. And I couldn't find one that was affordable. And the ones that were affordable weren't my style. And so um, I had a friend at the time who was a designer. She said, well, just make one. And I'm like, OK. Uh, and, and they so, were a hit? They were a hit, yeah, they were a hit. I, you know, taught myself how to make it. I ended how did up you teach yourself? I went to YouTube. Uh-huh. And uh, <laughs> YouTube University, <laughs> YouTube University right. you know, um, put something together, and I ended up winning best bow tie at the party. But what do you say, what do you say, Robin, to people that say bow ties are very choo 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 and a little stuffy? Yeah, and so that's the reason why I created bow tie behavior was to change the narrative around bow ties. Because what's the narrative, in your opinion, about bow ties? I feel that they shouldn't just be for prom or Kentucky, <laughs> Kentucky Derby. Kentucky Derby. Uh, um, graduation. They should be for every day. Um, and they're not just menswear. It's genderless. And so there's this narrative that it's menswear. You have to wear it with a suit and tie. Yeah. But you can wear it every day. Anyone can wear it. You can wear it loose. You can wear it tied. You can wear it loose. Now, normally you see guys that have had quite a night. Well, there's <laughs> a story behind it. Which, which actually, so, so Vlad, so yeah. Vlad, I yes. don't want to out you, but that's No, you have to out me. This is a, a pre-tied pre uh, uh -huh. version uh -huh. of yes. the tie. You have also the untied so version. you offer yes. that to And Tony was, like, very adamant that he wanted to tie his bow tie. Now, yes. I can tie it, but not under pressure yeah. with the lights and yes. all these guys. Can they make fun of me it? on my best no. days. It's a lot. So I can't yes. have it. I, 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 I took about eight hours to tie the one I wore to the White House Correspondents' <laughs> Dinner, and under pressure in a commercial break, I also cannot tie a bow tie. <laughs> yes. But the reason I, I like uh, a self tie is to your point, at mm -hmm. the end of the night or in the middle of the night, you have this option to go more casual. Yes. And this just looks so it looks very Sinatra so you dashing. Think, you think that's a yeah. look, Robin, because I think that looks like uh, they're not fully dressed or they've had a rough night. But yeah. you say no. No, oh, this, this is, is the end of a great night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sinatra, Sinatra, Sinatra the would always out in the like, mashed potatoes and the wine is <laughs> rat pack. Would that's a deliberate like choice. That. Yes, that's and, deliberate and choice. that's another thing about bow tie behavior is that I incorporate uh, formal wear with street style. Mm -hmm. And so if you see someone with a bow tie and you see it incorporated with street style, you kind of feel more confident to wear in your everyday wardrobe. And that's the feeling that I want um, everyone to go for when they reach for a bow tie. And you describe yourself as a queer business leader. Yes. What, what, why do you think that's important for you to say? Um, it's, it's super important because not only am I queer, I'm black, I'm a woman, I'm the, the daughter of immigrants from Jamaica. Mm -hmm. And so there are so many things that society tells people like me um, from the multitude of my identities that I should not be confident, I shouldn't love myself, I shouldn't um, feel good when I step outside. And so with bow tie behavior, if I can help each person just feel more confident, that changes the game of how you walk into spaces, mm -hmm. how you show up for yourself. And so, you know, that is, that's what I'm, what, what I'm very proud of. of. That's well said. Yeah. And in terms of showing up for yourself, show up in a bow tie. Yeah, uh, it show works. up in a bow tie. I, I can tell by your shoes you feel good when you leave the house. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, and it's so important. Because what was your thinking when you put on those shoes today and you were coming here? So the thought was like, you have to jazz it up. You know, you have to be like, you know, a little jazzy, show a little spunk. Well, you did it. You yeah. did it, Robin. These bow ties are awesome. Yeah, Thank you so much. Oh, price point, price, price point, you. price point. Oh, the price, they're, uh, they run from about $25 to $45. Okay. All right, all right. Robin Williams in the house. Thank yes. you very much. We'll be right back. Thank you. <laughs>